Hi, welcome to the EEV blog, an electronics engineering video blog of interest to anyone involved in electronics design. I'm your host, Dave Jones. Hi, it's time for another stream of consciousness drive time rant. Yes, it follows on from the last one. I've just gone a couple hundred metres down the road and I'm going to do another topic. This one comes from the forum, yet again, the eternal fountain of uh, rant material, really. And somebody posted, once again, I forget who you are, sorry, posted the classic uh, beginner question that I get all the time by email and I see on other forums and, oh man, I, I'm getting a, bit, getting a bit sick of it actually, um, is that they're looking for a low cost PCB tool. And you know, great, okay. You know, everyone's always looking for a low cost PCB schematic EDA tool and one thing they always, a lot of beginners tend to add on is that, oh, it must have an auto router because auto routers save so much time. And every time I hear that, I just get so irate because um, these beginners don't understand um, the fundamental concepts of auto routers. Oh, M2 tunnel, whee! Ooh, dark and spooky and exciting. And we emerge, here we go. Anyway, bit of fun there. And the, yeah, and they, they think that, you know, these auto routers will save them a whole bunch of time and make their PCB layout easy. And, oh, and it's, it's just crazy that they don't realize that PCB uh, auto routers are a very advanced tool that should only be used by advanced PCB layout um, people to do very, specific tasks, if they should be used at all. Some, you know, uh, old time PCB designers like me, you know, pretty much have a blanket rule that they won't use an auto router. Um, but, you know, in, in a lot of cases it makes sense to. But it's only in when you set them up correctly with all the rules and everything and you let them rip on a very specific aspect of your, or a very specific area of your board. You do not just throw down your components and hit the auto route button and it routes your entire board. That is just bullshit. It always has been and always will be. And the simpler your board is, once you get down a single layer or a simple double layer and you've got components nicely spread out, like a beginner might do a simple project with through hole components, etc., then the simpler the case, the worse the auto router works in many respects in terms of um, A, being able to actually do the job and um, B, actually doing a, doing a good job and doing a nice job. And it, it just basically doesn't work. Try and let an auto router rip on a, you know, on a single sided board and it's just, or a simple double sided board and the results are just horrendous. They really are. And considering that you spend um, most of your time actually selecting the components draw as I've mentioned before you know using digikey and mouse or and other websites to select and find the right components and then draw a nice schematic and then check it and you know do everything else and then you you know you place your components all nicely doing that and doing those steps alone is like you know 95 percent of your work it always will be in any design really and for someone to say that a PCB auto router on a simple board is going to save them a massive amount of time what it's just crazy it's nuts because you will spend 95 percent of your time doing all the other stuff and only five percent of the time routing so why not take a bit of pride in your work and do it properly manually route it learn how to route because you'll learn so much by routing it yourself and actually going and studying all about you know how to do a nice PCB layout tight PCB layouts for like switch mode power supplies and you know things like that there's lots of things little things to learn that auto routers have no freaking idea about quite frankly and they're just going to produce horrible results so really ah oh, please beginners do not use an auto router it, it's just it's just pointless. It's a waste of your time. So you see a package like, um, say, Eagle, which is a very popular low-cost... Well, you can get a free version, which does very small boards. And 
they charge a lot extra um, for the auto router. Um, I, you can buy it separately, I think. And uh, really, I don't know why anyone would bother because Eagle's not a high-end tool. It's, you know, it's, it's a reasonably low-end, you know, um, PCB uh, and, you know, layout, EDA tool. Uh, why it bothers having an auto router is, you know, it's, it's almost beyond me. Why, and why anyone would buy it is, is beyond me as well. It's just crazy. So, yeah, auto routers, please, beginners, don't touch them. As much as you think they might be saving you time or effort, trust me, they're not. See you next time.